What is up YouTube, Dom Designs here and in today's video tutorial I will teach you step by step how to turn this sketch of a plate of food into a vibrant vector illustration. So without further ado, let's get into this tutorial. Begin by creating a new document at 1920 by 1080 pixel in Adobe Illustrator. You will then import the sketch. I will leave a moment to take a screenshot of my sketch so you can follow along. Let's first turn the sketch into a reference template layer. Double click on the icon on the layers panel. Turn on the template option and dim down the opacity to 20%. Go to the layers panel once again, create two layers and name them outline and salmon. Starting with the fish, activate the pen tool and trace the outline with a black stroke. With the direct selection tool, head over to the corners and round them off. Draw the wave-like textures with the pen tool, and don't worry about overlapping the lines. Now select all the lines and make them thicker. I will give it an 11 point thickness. For the next step, we will turn the wave-like texture lines into shapes. Select them all, head over to the object menu, and select Outline Strokes. We can now clean up the overlapping lines with the Shape Builder tool. Select all, activate the Shape Builder, hold Option or Alt depending if you're on a Mac or on a PC, and delete the unwanted shapes. So let's now apply color to the drawing. On second thought, let's stick to keeping one layer for the salmon portion of the illustration. Select the outline of the salmon, replace the stroke for a fill. Head over to the gradient panel, and let's give the salmon a light orange to dark orange gradient. Then select all the wave-like lines, group them, and give it a light orange color. That's perfect. Now let's add some shadows and highlights. Select the salmon shape, head over to the top menu, and do a copy and paste in front twice. Select the top shape and move it up. Now select the top two shapes, activate the shape builder, and delete the unwanted shapes leaving behind our shadow. Give that new shape a dark orange color to represent the shadow. Great, so we're done drawing the salmon, let's now focus on drawing the tomatoes. Go to the layers panel and create a new layer and name it tomatoes. With the ellipse tool, create a perfect circle while holding shift on your keyboard. Then with the pen tool, trace out the leaves. Replace the stroke for a green fill for the leaves and a red fill for the tomato part. Let's give the tomato a light to dark red color gradient. Make sure you have the radio setting turned on. Following the same technique as we did with the salmon, let's add some shadow to the bottom right of the tomato. Add an oval to represent the highlight with a lighter color. Ooh. 
With the pen tool and the shape builder tool, let's add some shadows to the leaves. Great, now that we're done the tomatoes, let's duplicate it by holding Alt or Option on your keyboard and your drag. Awesome, so now let's move on to drawing the lemons on top of the salmon. Once again, go back to the layers panel and create a new layer and name it Lemon 1. Start by tracing the lemon with two circles. With the polygon tool, create a triangle. With the polygon tool selected, Click anywhere on the canvas and input three sides to create the triangle. So let's first duplicate one of the circles and resize them a little. Then select the triangle and the circle and activate the shape builder tool. And just delete everything but the triangle. We will then multiply the triangle around the circle. Activate the Rotate tool, Option or Alt click in the center, and type in a 45 degree angle and confirm by clicking on Copy. Then to duplicate it around, just press Command or Control plus D on your keyboard multiple times. Remove the strokes and add some color. I will now add some gradients to create shadows and highlights to the lemon. And let's finalize by adding some seeds. Alright, so now let's draw the plate. Create a new layer all the way at the bottom and draw an ellipse. Give the ellipse a grey outline. Let's do a copy and paste in back and give that back layer a grey gradient. Duplicate the circle and resize it and make it lighter. For the final part, we will add the plate decors. We will combine two circles together and use a shape builder tool to remove the unnecessary shapes. Let's make it green, let's place the leaves on the branch and multiply them and play with the placement. Finally, once we're done, duplicate it and place it on the other side of the plate. Alright, so to finalize, we will add some shadows to the bottom of every food on the plate. Select each individual food group, duplicate the main shape. Arrange to back and give it a darker gray.
And there you have it everyone. This is how to turn a basic sketch into a vibrant 3D looking vector illustration. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please leave a like and let me know what you'd like to see next. Cheers everybody!